Equine herpes virus, or EHV, is always circulating within the horse population. The two most common strains that affect the domestic horses are EHV1 and 4, which cause primarily respiratory symptoms, but also neurological signs, and in bridge mares, abortion. Like the human cold sore virus, EHV will become dormant in the horse's cells and reactivate at times of stress, such as long journeys to competitions or to new homes. It is estimated that between 80 and 90% of the UK horse population have in fact got equine herpes virus dormant in their cells, so elimination is going to be impossible. Symptoms of EHV could be a snotty nose and a slight fever that is transient, so it's always important to isolate such horses until you know what we're dealing with. To prevent EHV, you want to have a really good biosecurity policy at your yard, and that would include isolating new arrivals for 21 days and isolating all cases of fever, snotty noses and coughs as soon as they happen. Due to the risk of what's called abortion storms in broodmares, it is recommended that broodmares are vaccinated in their 5th, 7th and 9th month of pregnancy. It is also useful vaccinating for EHV in other groups as well, but your biosecurity policy is going to be the most important to prevent this disease.